This is Sean with Gate City. We're on a job looking at this job today. And I've been talking with this homeowner for probably about six months. They're building this garage here. And so the problem they're having is their basement has been flooding. And so the basement is a low point here. So let me see if I can show you the lay of the land. You can see how it's everything is falling in here and they're getting a bunch of water also off the neighbor up here. And so I've been talking with them, they're building this garage and talking with the builder. And so they're putting in a retaining wall here and we need to build up the grade along the foundation of the building here. We're also going to do a driveway in here and we're going to slope the driveway. We're gonna slope it this way so that the driveway is gonna catch the water and the retaining wall is gonna do whatever it's gonna do and then the driveway is gonna send the water down. And so what the builder did here, I guess, is the builder installed this foundation tile and I wasn't involved in this, but they used Schedule 30, which is thin wall. It's good, it's PVC pipe, but it's thin wall. And you can see it's still not as good as Schedule 40. And so there's not really a good place to send the water here. So we're gonna do an outfall, like a rocky outfall, try to make it decorative. But this is just temporary, I guess, and I'm not really sure. But see this pipe here? See how squishy it is? It's just not strong enough to bury it like this. If you take a look here, we also have a bunch of water going into the foundation here. And look at the gap right there that they have where you can come up. So we're gonna bring in a bunch of dirt, get these air conditioner condenser units moved and build up a slope along the foundation like we've done a million times and get the water to shed away so there's a bunch of stuff going on here. We're gonna catch that gutter on the corner and there's a gutter right there on the corner. We're gonna catch those. I gotta do something with this pipe. Probably catch it into, well, I'm probably gonna rip all this pipe out and put schedule 40 in is what's gonna happen. So the poor homeowner had to pay for all this. And then uh, anyway, so we're also gonna grade all this out and try to create, I think, this is a real tricky one here. So we still have the water that's landing here. So I think we're gonna do a swale across through here and try to build this up here and get the water to channel out toward the front. So this is gonna be a challenging one. The homeowner also wants a paver walkway across here. So I'm gonna do that for him too. So that's, that's a huge distance to try to build up right there. So I think I wanna bring in some surge and get a really good base in here. So this has been going on for several, several months here as the garage has been going up. And so we'll be back out here at some point, might be after the first of the year. This is Sean with Gate City. We are finally back out here at this project where the homeowner is having this garage built. I've been talking to him about this for probably at least six or seven months. And they finally got the gutters in place they finally got the garage finished up and got the gutters on it. And then it's been raining and cold and wet here for like two months. So we're finally out here. We're gonna try to get our piping in today. And we, we still have a bunch of work out here to do with a bunch of grading and stuff. But what we're working on today is getting these gutters and the homeowner put these temporary pipes in just to get the water kicked away a little bit. And the builder installed, I think this is the foundation tile here. So that's thin wall pipe. So wherever we get to it, we're gonna replace it with schedule 40. And so we've got a couple other gutters here and here to catch. And then we've got a bunch of grading. We gotta fix all this. So there's not really a good place to send the water on this property. There's no curb down there and there's a sidewalk and the thing flattens out pretty good. So what we're gonna end up doing, we're gonna come across here and we're just gonna do like a rock garden kind of thing here and the homeowner has a bunch of rocks already on site so we're just going to repurpose those i guess he had a, a koi pond over here and the rocks were part of the decorations for the koi pond 
So take a look. So we've got our rocks here and we're gonna just reposition those and repurpose those into just a some kind of a aesthetically pleasing outfall and then the water will just kind of sheet out across the yard so that's what we're working on today on this side over here we're also going to be replacing the driveway and what happens now is the water just comes down and just all shoots right into this house and so when we do our driveway, we're going to be extra careful to make sure the driveway is sloping this way. And so it'll catch all the water coming from the uphill area here, and it'll channel it down to the street. So one of the things we're going to be doing here is catching the neighbor's gutter. Because that gutter just comes out, that's at least a quarter of his whole house. And that water has nowhere to get out of here. So that's what Ronald's working on right now. The builder put in this pipe. But this is schedule 30 so we're just gonna wherever we land here we're just gonna cut this out and put schedule 40 the rest of the way how's it look shout out there everybody anthony how y'all doing looking great i think we're gonna fly right tower in right right into this pipe we're gonna be good all right we can get the trencher in right here pull the truck up a little bit okay we're gonna make this happen all right let's do it good to be back <laughs> back to work back in blue yep ah. all right sean let's get the truck These are the fittings here to go from schedule 30 to schedule 40 and I just carry just tons and tons of these fittings just because you never know what you're going to hit and when it comes to PVC if you don't have the right the exact fitting you need you, sometimes you can't make it work so that's why you see tons and tons of fittings on my truck all the time just because I don't want to get bested by a $5 fitting and have the whole job stop. There's like a big wall on the front of this property, so we're gonna try, I think, to take the trencher in through here, and then try to squeeze it. It gets, it gets kind of skinny right here. You wanna back it in? I think so. One of the reasons for carrying all these different fittings is you never know exactly what's going to work the best. And so you may be able to piece something together with, with different PVC fittings, but it's nice to have the right fitting for the right application. And so what we typically do is we'll take a few, like you've got a 90 there and a 45 and a 22 and just kind of see what's going to work the best and then use it. And the guys all feel free to use whatever fittings they need to get the job done. And occasionally we'll glue something together and mess it up and the guys know just toss it to the side and get some more fittings. Having those two elbows lets you kind of swivel them a little bit. All right. Now we drop a little riser in there. Swing it. Swing it on in there. Ooh. Yeah. We're it. Hey, you want to do this side? Yeah. There you go. Right. 
All right, come on up. All right, and come toward the toward this way a little bit. We got a right there. Good. Well, it could go a little bit more, but this is in the way. No, that's it. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's the clean out. Yep. All right. Um, we need to get some dirt up under it and pull it up a little bit if we can. Okay, we got this neighbor's gutter caught, and that gutter's in pretty poor condition, so it really needs to be attached back up in there, but we got it kind of wedged and hopefully holding. So that water is now out of the equation. We've got this Schedule 30 here, and I want to replace this part with Schedule 40, but we may not have enough pipe today, so if we don't have enough pipe, we'll just hook this back up. But for now, we're gonna move on to the other side of the building. That pipe had a significant amount of fall to it. And I wanna see if there's any water that's being held in that corrugated pipe. So let's take a look. You hear it? Look at all that extra water and that shows this is just grading straight into the house. So part of what we're gonna do is bring all this up so that it sheds away. Look what the gutter guys left us with. So this strap is right here so there's no nipple to slide our coupler on. See that? So what are we gonna do about it? We're gonna custom make us a custom fit coupler. All right. Country way. Yep. Get over here where we can work without cutting any of the, any of the digits off. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the armchair safety patrol will be on us. Yeah, sure they're watching. Yeah. That's all right. We need a safety crew. Yeah. So the idea is now that'll fit. Maybe. There you go. All right, you think we got it on the first try? Let's try I think it. We might got it on the first try. All right. This is how much professional we are. This is going to go the first time. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look at, <laughs> look look at, at that. it. How nice. about that? Yeah. Sweet. All right. All right, right you behind you. There you go. Thank you, boss. About ten and a quarter. All right, coming up. Uh. Oh, wrong end. 
Caught it on camera. <laughs> yeah, you did. The gutter guy did the same thing over here. He put that strap right there. And this grade we're gonna bring up a little bit, so I wanna put a riser maybe up to like here. Get this thing really well. Do we wanna remove this? And redo it? God. I so mean, do we wanna take in the... Uh, it's in the way where it's at. Yeah. It's not gonna service any purpose that way. Is it a screw or is it a... It's a darn uh, masonry now. Yeah. Masonry on. Yeah, see if we can rip it off of there. We're going to be bringing in a bunch of grade to shed this away from the building. And we've got quite a bit of work to do over here too. I guess we're going to try to make a little swale and get this water channeled in here. But for now we're going to catch these gutters and that's going to take all that water out of the equation. So those two gutters right there. It's going to be interesting coming in with the mini, with that mini, spit, uh, mini split right there. You don't want to hit that with the mini skid. All right, so this is the foundation tile from the new building. And so that is scheduled 30, and he just took it all the way out there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie this into our system, and then we're gonna do schedule 40 for the rest of the way. Hand me that, that Y right there, if you would. This is a Y that I glued the wrong fitting on. It's been hanging around for a long, long time, and I think we may be able to finally use it right here. So we can just hook into this and then get our new pipe coming this way into it. Use it somewhere, and then every single time I try it, I'm like, nope. Oh. Right in here be okay, you think? Yeah. I told you I'd use it somewhere. Yeah. I would. <laughs> <laughs> Cut a little nipple off of this. Are we going to pull this all the way out, the remainder of this? Yep. Let me get that out of the way. Get rid of it. Maybe another 22. Just want it to kind of straighten out a little bit, you know. Colorado is nice. It's pretty steady. I think that'll work. In areas. It's nice. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is real nice. All right, let's um, let's glue this thing up and start working off of it. What do you say? Uh, you sure you don't want to leave it loose till we get to it? In case I mean, we're gonna have to pick it up and, and, and pop it in from there. Okay. Yeah, you know, we have to pick something up in the middle, you know, what I'm saying? Yeah. And smash it, so it might be better leave that loose for now. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. It won't hurt. Let's do it. All right. Let's backtrack. You want to shoot a piece of pipe onto this, or do you want to catch that one across here first? Either way, it don't matter. Yeah, however it's going to land, it's fine with me.
the goo. Dig out some more. Oh, no, we gotta spin this. Which way? Hmm. Okay. Here's shovel it. I think it's it. Come shovel. Yeah. That's it. <gasps> Sweet mother of Cory. Yep. We got way more than a full bubble. All right, let's glue and smash. Actually, we can glue this one in first. Let's get it there. That's not going to change anything. Within 30 days, put it right our wheel. And I think that's where we went wrong. Yeah. But. <coughs> what? I like it. Maybe like another. No, we're not getting all the way there. Yeah. Maybe so, an, maybe an inch and a half. Past yeah. that. Cut this a little long. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking we can smash all three together at the same time. We've got three fittings we're going to try to make up here. So this one, which is going to spin this way, this one, which is going to spin this way, and this one isn't going to spin at all. So we're going to glue this one first and then try to smash these all together. And whatever angle they want to be at, when we smash it in there, it'll find that angle. And so again, this one doesn't matter, so we can glue it and it'll be fixed. Stay well. You have Pete Wall doing any work for you in the past years? Who? Pete Wall. Pete Wall. Plumbing? No, it doesn't ring any bells. Okay. So anyway, I was just, uh, was just ironic, I have got it. Yeah. See you. Yeah. Our angle is a little bit off there, but our trench is already in place. So to mitigate that, we're going to put two couplers in and a short nipple. And each of those couplers will let it tweak just a little bit. So wish us luck here. in there and then we'll smash it in. Woo. 
we have a couple options for coming in at a 90 like this. The first is a sanitary tee, and that would work just fine. But a little bit better option is what we call a combination Y. So you're gonna take a, a regular Y and a Street 45 and put those together. And that will make up your 90 right there. And that just gives it a little bit more of an angle, a sweeping angle, as opposed to the smashing dead end the sanitary tee gives you. So just because we have a little bit of a run here, I'm just gonna go with this, the combination Y just to have a little bit better flow. This gutter, we're gonna leave a little bit high here because we're supposed to be bringing in some dirt. Take, we're gonna take these air conditioners out and we're gonna bring it up a little bit. So that's free fall coming up on this side and going down on this side. Oh, it's up, it's up. You good? Yeah. There's a little bit of water in there, it's still draining. All right. Ready with the shot. I got her. Ooh. Oh. There you go. That's her. <laughs> good call. We had a couple of ups on standby though. <laughs> Look at that bike. <laughs> Dude. I'm gonna slather it up, it'll slide right in there. Ready? Yep. Watch your fingers. Yep. Ready? Yep. That's it. Nope. There it is. Beautiful. Sweet. What are we gonna do with this gutter? That one up. All right. All right. Smash and grab. Oh, look at that. Fucking deal. Took it right in. Get you off, but hey. Yeah, we can redo we can that. Do that. That's just a straight line, baby. Yeah. Sweet. And that's how you do it. Yep. <laughs> Oh, 
We got our last fitting in and Ronald just retrenched that so we should be in a better straight line there. We don't really have a great place to, to take our water to here. So what I wanna do is I want to just kind of dig this out a little bit with the mini bobcat and construct an outfall with those rocks that the homeowner has left over from the koi pond that they took out. So I think I'm just gonna, just gonna scrape some of this out of here and see how we do. So let's do it. All right, we, we trenched it for the third time, so next time we'll wait to trench it. I accidentally ran over this pipe with the skid steer, and that pipe is fine. So I guess it got maybe a little bit ovaled or so, and then I accidentally ran over this one with the skid steer, and of course there's no comparison. And this one's still full of water. <laughs> what do you think about that dang del Corota pipe? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> see it come out. <laughs> love to see it come out of the ground. Yep. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna line this little area with landscape fabric, and then I'm gonna go get those rocks, and we're just gonna try to make it look, look good, look intentional. Are we hauling all the old pipes? What's that? Are we hauling all the old pipes? Yeah. I don't exactly know what we're going to do here Okay, this is our outfall. I guess we're gonna need to bring in some small rock or something in the for the floor area here. And that one and that one seem like they're a little bit out of place. So I may end up redoing these a little bit, but I've gotta to talk to the homeowner and see what he wants to do. Some, so probably some small angular gravel in there might work well. But that's what our outfall is gonna look like and then that water is just going to disperse. And this is a pretty, pretty steep hill here. So we may, in this case, be trading flooding in the basement for flooding right here, but this is a much better deal out here. So we're almost finished. I'm gonna try to flatten out some of this area over here where the skid steer since I've got it here, and then we'll be back over here to bring some dirt in once things dry out a little bit better.
<laughs> all right we are finished for today we're going to be bringing in a bunch of dirt here so i didn't really worry too much about grading this out this pipe is all going to be buried so you can see how much dirt we've got to bring in quite a bit here and i just talked to the homeowner he's pretty excited about it it's a lot of pipe and he's really really excited about this flooding to stop happening so getting this these pipes out of here getting this gutter water out of the equation as i always say is going to go a long ways so we're just getting cleaned up we did get this schedule 40 pipe in here which replaced the schedule 30 that the builder put in the other thing we did is we got it grading properly so we've got plenty of fall all the way whereas before it was back grading so we did leave his schedule 30 in here but this has now got a full bubble way over a full bubble everywhere so we're heading on down the way there and then eventually this is going to dump onto the concrete driveway and the driveway is going to be a huge part of this solution it's going to be sloping this way to send all the water that comes from this these, this like whole uphill neighborhood it's going to send it all down to the street so we'll be back out here with some dirt hopefully if the weather holds for us we are back out here today we've got a load of river rock and we're just going to fill this area in with river rock and try to make it look a little bit better so that he had these large rocks on site and wanted to repurpose them but there wasn't really much we could do with that so we've got another load here so that's what we're going to do Okay, I was flying the drone instead of paying attention, so we got a little bit too much in here. So I think we're going to try to load some back up. Whoops. Alright, so we've got our little outfall here. And we're just getting loaded back up to get out of here. Luckily the neighbor was nice enough to let us use their driveway. So that's what it looks like. Once we get some rain on it too and get that dust off there, it'll look a lot better. So you all know that I like to leave my outfall pipe completely clear. And so I really like putting a flat paver or in this case a piece of slate right there and then you have a completely unobstructed outlet. So any debris that comes out of there can uh, freely flow out of there and you can keep an eye on this thing and make sure it's continually working I can't tell you how many clients I go and look at their their drainage system that's installed and they have no idea where it comes out so I'll be over here I gotta pull this stump out and start moving some dirt around I just talked to my hauler friend Daniel he said he's got a, a big project he's got like 10 triaxles coming out like right around the corner and so I was like, okay, we can haul him right here. And so if you can find a deal like that, boy, that's sweet because he was gonna be hauling all that dirt like 20 miles back to his shop. And so if he can haul it here and charge me a little bit, he'll be in really good shape. So, all right, I think we're ready.
same spot where I'm at right there and dump. Yeah. I feel like with no issues, but what's funny is I have a job around the corner that starts Monday that I gotta haul about 10 loads of dirt out. Oh really, it starts Monday? It's supposed to, weather permit. You wanna haul it here? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'll get you whatever you need if you need to get a little bit in the area, but I, if it's not need, killing you, I don't need wait. anything today. Well, let's wait. I just figured I was gonna be here. Well, plus I would've know where it is, but yeah, literally it's not nowhere and I hate to haul it all the way back. If yeah. I literally bring it right here. I'll yeah. get you a deal on the price because I ain't got to take it back. Yeah. Well, I'll have a skid steer here too Monday so I can... I ain't I checked mean. the we're back out here today and what we're going to do is we're going to get the grade brought up along the house right here. So the heating and air contractors came this morning about an hour ago and moved the two units. There's uh, I guess one heat pump and one AC, straight AC. So they pulled those off. We're going to get the grade brought up, get the pads reset, and then they'll be back here to, to hook these back up. The other thing we're working on is getting these pipes bedded here because in a couple days I've got a big load of dirt coming through here and I'll have the skid steer over here. So I just dropped that one load with the dump truck and I've got the mini here and I've got another half load on the truck so we'll get this going.
we got all of our dirt here spread around and the AC guys are getting everything back together now. So we just got everything loaded up. Ronald made a couple of sweeps to make sure we got all our tools and we are out of here. So we'll be back here hopefully in the next couple days with some more dirt. I will go ahead and end this video here and then we'll start part two with the dirt work and I will get working on that video and hopefully that will be coming out at some point. If you enjoy the channel you know what to do here and there are links in the description as well. See you on the next one.